So we're in Microsoft Word and we're going to look at creating lines across the page, but also narrower lines, say something for like a signature area of a document. So we'll start with just your standard thin line across a document page. All you have to do is type three hyphens in, press enter, and it'll give you that line. If you want a double line, try three equal signs, press enter. And if you want a thicker line, try three underscores, press enter. And if you want a thick dash line, try three of those asterisk characters. If you want a more decorative border, try three hashes. Another decorative border you could have is with three tildes. Now, none of those options worked. Go to File, Options. And if you go to Proofing, Autocorrect Options, go to the Auto Format as you type tab. You've got an option here called Borderlines. That needs to be ticked for these Auto Format features to actually work. If you find them really annoying, then just turn that option off. Okay, let's look at some other options. One option you have is to use the Borders button which is in the paragraph group of the Home tab. If I go to this drop down, there is a horizontal line option there. If I undo that, you could equally use one of these border options here, either a bottom border or a top border. That will create a line across the page. And you can even format that. Let me undo that again. If I go to the drop down and then to borders and shading, I can choose a different style of border. So I want this one here. You can even choose the color. And then I need to choose where I want the border to appear. So if I only want it to appear across the page, I would take the vertical lines off and one of the horizontal lines. Click on OK and it applies the border. Next option is drawing lines. If you go to insert shapes, you've got this line option here. All you need to do is click on it. Hold down shift on your keyboard to create a straight line and then drag across your page. And you can have that as long or as narrow as you like. And then you get a shape format tab on your ribbon and you can change the color of the line. But you can also change the style of the line. It could be dashed or solid, whatever you like, really. Now, if you want to create a narrower line, a really easy option is to just use underscores. And you just press the underscore button on your keyboard until you get the length of the line that you want. So your other option for this, if I just delete this line here, is to draw a line. So insert shapes. Select the line shape. Hold down shift on your keyboard and just draw it. So it's exactly the width that you require. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover on this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.